Hi, I'm Al, and in this edition of Summit Racing Quick Flicks, I'm going to show you how to install your own timing set. So in another one of our Quick Flix videos, I've actually gone over the different types of timing sets available, whether it's a belt system, a gear drive system, or a timing chain and gear drive system, and you can watch that video here. Now, some people have said that it's really easy to change your timing set with the engine in the vehicle, but that all depends on how much space you have in between the engine block and the radiator. For us, it's a lot easier to show you with the engine outside of the vehicle. Now, some of the reasons why you may want to change your timing set is because the chain has actually stretched a little bit, causing some timing issues, causing maybe a misfire or a knock. Now, you can actually look at the link below for replacement chains for your vehicle, or if you want to change out your entire timing set, both the gear and the chain, we have another link for that below as well. Now, one of the things that I like to do first is I always like to press the crank gear onto the crank itself first. Now there's a couple things that you may want to look out for depending on the timing set that you have. On this one that I've already put on, there's only one position that the gear can actually go on and because that's lined up by the key in the crank. However, there's other gears that actually have a advance and retard on the gear so you can already dial in what type of timing you want for your vehicle based on the crank position. For normal builds, generally it's about straight up at zero degrees, but like I said, you can go ahead and program that advance or retard already in there. The next step is to go ahead and put the chain around the cam gear and you start to slowly work that over the crank gear, lining everything up, and going ahead and putting that on the crank. Now, the, as you can see here, there's a dowel pin that lines up the cam gear with the correct position, and then all we need is just a few bolts that's supplied in the kit, and we'll screw those in and we'll be all set. The last thing I want to point out is that there's markings on both the cam gear as well as the crank gear that when lined up, you can tell how many degrees from top dead center your advance is or your retard. Now, if you have any other questions about timing sets, engines, or cars in general, I'd love to hear them. Please feel free to leave a question in the comments section below. Hit subscribe to stay up to date on our latest Quick Flicks videos and watch some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.